alcohol threatens wealth and health. Once the banker, Antar Pindika, had a nephew. who had squandered 40 million by his drinking habit, leaving him penniless. The nephew, therefore, came to Anatta Pindika's home, asking for some financial help. The nephew said, I'm going to use the money to invest in business, to set myself up in life. Anatta Pindika was pleasantly surprised to hear his drunken nephew wanted to earn his living. He gave him 1,000, and taught him a few tricks of the trade. The nephew thanked Anatta Pindika and wasted no time in going out with his friends and spending all the money on booze. Later, he came back to Anatta Pindika saying, I've lost all my money in business due to my lack of experience and may I have some more? Anatta Pindika pretended he didn't know what was going on and said, this time I'm only going to give you 500. Invest it wisely. The shameless nephew spent all 500 on alcohol again. For a third time, the nephew returned to ask for more. Anatar Pindika gave him two pieces of coarse cloth instead of money, knowing he would be more likely to make an effort to sell it. The nephew did sell the cloth, but again he spent all he had earned on alcohol. He came back to Anatar Pindika for a fourth time with an outstretched palm. This time, Anatar Pindika had his nephew thrown out into the street. The nephew was destitute and lodged at this person's house or that until eventually the nephew died in poverty. Anatar Pindika felt somehow blameworthy for his nephew's death. Was there something more he could have done? He sought audience from the Buddha, telling him the whole story. The Buddha said, that it was not only in this life that the nephew had been beyond help. In a previous lifetime, when the nephew had been given a wishing cup, it still couldn't help him. It still couldn't satiate his appetite. So it is no surprise that with your limited means, it's not enough to help him. The Buddha concluded briefly, but Anatta Pindika invited him to give more detail. The Buddha thus revealed the story of the past as follows. In the past, when King Brahmadatta reigned in Benares, the Bodhisattva was born as a millionaire, inheriting a fortune of 40 million from his father. He had only one child, a son. Bodhisattva liked to perform acts of charity regularly, giving alms and pursuing other forms of virtues until the end of his life. When he passed away, the Bodhisattva was reborn as Indra, the king of heaven. The only son inherited the fortune of 40 million. But instead of investing it in a business, he had a huge pavilion built, not as a place of worship, but as a drinking place. There, he whiled away the time drinking with friends, hiring dancers and singers, and gave them extravagant prizes for their performances. He did the same things every day. This and nothing else. Living a life of drink and recklessness. Eventually, his wealth was exhausted. He had to sell up everything he owned. He was left destitute, wearing only rags and wandering the streets. Indra surveyed the world and saw his former son destitute, his inheritance squandered on alcohol. Out of mercy, 
Indra appeared to the sun, saying, Now you are in great hardship. I feel sorry for you. So I'm giving you this magic pot. Take good care of it. Never drop it. If it breaks, it will lose its magic powers. It will produce whatever you wish for. The son accepted the cup, and Indra gave him a preaching before returning to heaven, reiterating that he should never let the cup break. The son promised to take good care of it. Good, said Indra, because it's your last chance to liberate yourself from hardship and poverty. As soon as Indra was gone, he made a wish for all types of wealth and spent all of wealth on alcohol. He drank alone or in company, singing and dancing merrily, holding the wishing cup in one hand and a bottle of liquor in the other. He felt more and more incapable. He came to the point where his merit had run out because the alcohol had uprooted the last of his merit. He started to play with the wishing cup for fun, throwing it in the air and catching it Eventually, it fell to the ground and broke, irreparably. And so he returned to his former hardship with a begging bowl, a burden on society to the end of his days. Anatar Pindika, as it was in the past, so it is now. This man has not changed his ways. Thus, for an alcoholic, even the gift of a wishing cup is still unable to bring happiness or prosperity. From their foolishness, drinkers even destroy the luck they already had. Through recklessness, those who drink are reduced to rags. It is thus that ignorance brings people suffering. When riches come to those lacking discretion, this is how they squander their fortune. Riches lead them eventually to ruin.